Now, it's time for the Coach Penny Hardaway Show, presented by Cook's Pest Control. The show is also supported by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone, Chick-fil-A, Eat More Chicken, your Memphis Toyota dealers, Toyota, Let's Go Places, the Tennessee Lottery, and Subway, make it what you want. Welcome in, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. It was another crazy week in Tigerland. Two wins, that's the best part. One on the road, but here's another twist and a turn, Coach. You lose another player, and maybe the second best player on this basketball team, to an injury that uh, spells bad news four to six weeks. Yeah, it was a crushing blow to you to, uh, to lose DJ Jeffries. It was a basketball play that Damian Ball made. DJ fell and hit his knee. We didn't think much about it. Next day, found out he had a torn PCL that would have him out four to six weeks. Just another blow to the team that we've, we've been having a bunch of blows this year. How tough is he, though? He actually finished practice, right, on yeah, a torn PCL. He came back out and tried to finish. He was limping, but he was out on the floor, so that lets you know how tough DJ really is. Yeah, he, he really is. Four to six weeks, you could get him back in time for the tournament, huh? Well, we just want him healthy. If that happens, that's fine. If not, then we want him to be 100% 100 healthy. And his health means more to us than him coming back soon, but whenever he's ready, we'll be ready for him to come back. Well, the good news is sometimes the guy's got to step up. Even before the injury, we saw a shuffling of your starting lineup and a guy named Lance Thomas who got into the group, and my goodness, this week he delivered so much he made the American Athletic Conference honor roll. Yeah, very happy for Lance, uh, our hardest worker last year. Came into this season really not knowing where he was going to fit in because of the freshman class, but continued to work and just happy to see his hard work pay off. Oh, it really has. And it was another good week for Precious Achua. He was just named, I think it's the fourth time now, Freshman Player of the Week in the American. And there are some really good freshman players. If you go look at Houston, they've got a couple of guys who are newcomers that are really terrific. But Precious just keeps on getting recognition. Yeah, well, Precious deserves that because he does everything that we ask of him. Uh, like you said, there are a lot of phenomenal freshmen that are around our conference and our league, but he's, he's, he's obviously the best you know, out of the bunch because he's proven that on a nightly basis, averaging a double-double. I think he's the best player total. One last thing, and we're going to get to what we've got coming up, uh, and that is Isaac Bruce, your teammate, making the Hall of Fame. How about that? Yeah, I went to school with Isaac Bruce uh, back in the 90s and was happy to see him dominate the NFL while he was playing. And to have the uh, the ultimate uh, goal accomplished, and that's being in the Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Isaac Bruce. In the meantime, we're coming back and talk about the two wins, the Cooks Pest Control Player of the Week, and then you'll meet with Toyota Inside Access, that player and how he got this uh, great week of success. Then the AutoZone Road Ahead is all in Memphis, two games. Stick around, we're just underway on the Penny Hardaway TV Show. You're watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show. So the Tigers are now 16 and five on the year. They are five and three in the American Athletic Conference. And before there was an injury, before a game was played last week, you decided you were shuffling the deck and you were going to change your starters. Yeah, I decided to put Boogie on the ball uh, to give him some confidence. You can see his confidence rising after the last game. And insert uh, Lance Thomas, who we thought was a great combination to go in with, uh, with Precious. Uh, it, it turns out that helped Boogie, who had a terrific game uh, in this matchup, and that was the second game in a row where he had come to life. But Lance Thomas, I thought, was an unbelievable story. And on cue, there's the three. This kid came into the game one of 16 from three-point range. He hangs, ends up four of six in this game. How did you know? Well, it's hard work. You know, Lance is one of our hardest workers, like I said, and he's a guy that really had not had a chance to start this year. And we felt like with his shooting ability alongside pressures that he would help complement him really well. And it, it worked even better for us because the game plan that UCF had was to play like 10 feet off him because he was one for 16 from the three-point line, and he, uh, he proved him wrong. Isaiah Marie showing an inside move, so we had some people step up that really hadn't been. Your defense was outstanding in this game. You hold the Knights to 38 and a half percent shooting for the game. Yeah, that's 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 unbelievable defense. Uh, I'm definitely proud of the boys. We always talk about that, especially in their building on their home floor. Whenever you can travel and play defense, you have an opportunity to win. Yeah, you, you talk about confidence being so important in this game. 
just by giving Boogie back a starting role, it seemed to have helped his psyche. Well, not only his starting role, but starting at the point guard, where he has the ball in his hands. You know, he's been in the corner uh, waiting to shoot shots uh, off of what we, you know, what we're giving him, but now he has the ball in his hands 80% of the time. Uh, that's, that's helped him tremendously. Colin Smith, by the way, has been an outstanding player for UCF, and he's a big guy. He was actually the biggest guy on the floor, so he had a pretty good night. He's the only one that was able to shoot with a lot of authority, but how about that little high-low look to the man? Yeah, yeah, Colin Smith has been a good player for them for a while. He's definitely their leader, and uh, he gave us a hard time in that game, but like we, we want that to happen a lot more. They're going to put a smaller guy on Precious. Lance has to make that play for us. And, he, you know, he did, and Precious had another great game. He had 18 and 13, his 11th double-double of this season. Unbelievable, especially with the, uh, with the hype that was on him coming in and losing James and everything kind of falling on his shoulders. Uh, definitely a great job he's doing this year. Now, in this game, it, it, it is back and forth, and UCF law led uh, for a good deal. Uh, of the contest, but you again showed a will to win down the stretch. Yeah, our young guys, man, just showed so much resiliency, um, just being resilient and tough and staying in the moment because they started two grad transfers, two seniors, and a red shirt junior, so they still be a senior. So we're playing against a lot older guys in this league. It's a veterans league, so the guys are going out and battle every night. Uh, I'm proud of them. Two five-year guys are 23 years old, a couple of 22-year-olds, and you're talking about true 18-year-old kids. Yeah, I think people kind of forget that. They want to ignore it because those our freshmen are really good, but you cannot ignore that at all, that these guys are young, but they're competing at a high level. And there's Malcolm Dandridge, who I don't think is 100%. Is he, Coach? He's not 100%, uh, but he, he still can uh, affect the game in a lot of ways, and uh, you know he's doing that while he's out there. You know, we, we, we've seen a bunch of these highlights with Lester King. You know, had six points, four assists, but he also had six rebounds. He's really willing to do all the little things. Yeah, when you're not scoring, we always challenge the guys to do other things, and Lester's going to do other things. He's going to get assists. He's going to get rebounds. He's going to defend his man, and uh, unbelievable job on the nightly basis with him. Yeah, that last play that we just saw, that is one of the areas I know that has to concern you. And that is unforced errors, turnovers. We'll talk more about that in the UConn game. Yeah, turnovers is something that the young guys just don't, they, they're just passing the ball where, where they think it should go and making mistakes. And you just have to learn from those mistakes. And there was a scary moment. Precious was OK. We saw him writhing in bed. Can't afford to lose him. That is for certain. No, you can't afford to lose him. Um, he's a guy that's been uh, uh, very durable for us this year. Uh, indestructible, and we want to keep that. I wish I had wood to knock on, but just hopefully he just stays healthy. Right here. Yeah, the wood. <laughs> there you go. Ah, precious leading in points, rebounds, minutes, and blocks. He does it all, there is no doubt. So now the Tigers, one in the books for the week. We got another one coming your way. This one at home. This one, another nail biter. You're watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show. Saturday morning, it was an early one, that is for sure. Tigers playing at noon. Everybody gets down there early. The first thing we saw was DJ Jeffries in clutches. And saying hello to everybody, but look at that face. You can tell he's just so disappointed. Yeah, and I feel his pain for sure because I've been there in my career with clutches and it's not fun not playing and then seeing your teammates. Um, go out there and have to fight without you, but you know we're all praying for DJ and waiting on uh, the recovery. UConn is, is another one of those ball clubs, just like they always seem to have in stores, Connecticut. Long, they are uh, very quick, and and uh, a lot of them have some pretty good stars to their name. So I know our team respected the Huskies. Yeah, UConn is always going to have a guard-loaded team uh, of a lot of big-name guys, and our guys did, did kind of play AAU against these guys, against these guys, and uh, there's kind of was an inner rivalry, a lot of trash talking out there in this game. In this ball game, you decided you were going to start your son. He hadn't played in a couple of games, mm -hmm. and it was his first collegiate. Start. I know a bunch of people are going, how did you make that decision? Well, here's the deal. Um, no one knew that uh, Jaden was born with autism, and it was an autism game. And I put him out there because, to me, it was monumental between father and son, how far he's come. And I knew the minutes that he was playing, 
wasn't really going to affect the game. And uh, that was something monumental with, with some. But then I also felt like that he could handle it for the minutes that he was out there for sure. Well, that is something none of us knew. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's really amazing, that story, how far he's gone. Yeah, we caught it early. And um, he kind of grew out of a, a lot of uh, the things that were going on with him. We, like I said, that uh, we were just praying that we could, you know, kind of get him back to normal. And for him to be straight A student all through his high school career and then college as well, and to be able to be on the basketball team right now is uh, nothing short of amazing. Wow. That's really something else. This game, again, close all the way. There's Lance Thomas. We know he can shoot from the outside. I know you want, because he's the five now, you want more of that inside. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we know that he's going to be able to shoot the jumper, but we still got to understand that the threes aren't going to fall every night. We're getting underneath, in the, underneath the basket and throwing it to him on the post. If he can score like that for us, that'd be great. And there is another strong power move. So we see more and more of Lance Thomas, who had his second great game. And there, there's what we know. And all of a sudden, this, this guy is he's hitting, he's shooting about 70 percent. He shot like that all last year when he couldn't play for us, and we were really ready for him to get back, get out on the court. And confidence shaking or something earlier this year where he started missing. And once it started to pile on with the misses, he lost confidence. But now his confidence is back, and the ball is going in the basket. Well, I like you said, he was actually in practice yesterday, the second best player on the team behind Jeremiah Martin, better than Davenport. Yeah, last year he was a guy that we were like, man, we can't wait until next year because Lance will be, he will be able to stretch the defense, and uh, he's doing it now. And uh, there is Lester. We told you he does all the little things, and he was critical in this ball game too. But this was a game where you got 20 less shots than UConn because of 24 turnovers. The reason you win this game is because you don't turn it over the last five minutes and because you go crazy hitting 18 of 21 down the stretch from the free throw line. Yeah, the free throws definitely saved us with all those turnovers and them getting 20 more shots than us. Obviously, we you know we got to stop the turnovers, but you got to make up for it in other areas. And like I said, we're, we're going to slow things down a little bit, and the guys just have to get in their head that every possession counts. Well, you did say in the post game the reason that you didn't turn the ball over the last five minutes was you called everything out. And I see a lot of college coaches, they orchestrate. You've done that at times, but you give the freedom for, for pace and for tempo to be quick. Do you have to start rethinking that and, and temper it a little bit? Yeah, because every every I do, because every game now is we, it's, it's gonna count. Meaning like going forward, you can't lose games that you're not supposed to lose. And to be in every game, we cannot throw the ball away. I think if we protect the basketball, we're in every game to win it, uh, and we can win out. You know, just get more shots up for sure. And that completes the two and a week. And as we said, now five and three in the league behind a couple of teams. There's a big log jam. It seems to me there are six really good teams in the league, and Memphis is one of them. Yeah, people don't want to give our conference any credit. You know, I don't think our fans understand how good our conference is. People went out and recruited heavily veteran players, grad transfers, already had transfers sitting on their benches. So six teams definitely is the number to me that, that could really win it. Uh, in our conference. Time now for the Cooks Pest Control Player of the Week, and it's the guy that you, out of nowhere, started, Lance Thomas, and it really was a very good week for him. He had 20 points, four threes, and four rebounds against UCF, 14 points, four rebounds, and five blocks. He outblocked a Cook, a Cook in the game against UConn. And that's saying something because that's what that, that's what a Cook, a Cook does every night for uh, Connecticut. He started off blocking our shots, but Lance, was our best shot blocker last year and our best stretch four last year, stretch five. So he's coming into play at the right time. So congratulations to Lance Thomas. He's the Cooks Pest Control Player of the Week, and he also made the American Athletic Conference honor roll. What a story he is becoming. We take a quick time out when we come back inside access with guess who? Lance Thomas. That's next. You're watching the Coach Benny Hardaway Show. We've talked about what a great story this Lance Thomas saga has become. We're going to let you hear from him on how that breakout game with UCF all came about. Just talking to my teammates, you know, this week, 
we had a team meeting, and you know, just Coach Penny, he told me to speak. You know, I mean, we tell everybody to speak, but when it was my turn, I just told the team I was feeling, I was feeling unconfident and stuff like that, just up and down. And they just told me to stay with it. You know, um, I work really hard, just just stay confident, keep shooting, Lance. Right? I knew eventually it was going to happen. You guys probably didn't. My teammates knew. I mean, I knew eventually it was going to happen, but that felt really good. You guys probably, like I said, don't know. I mean, I was one for 16 before the game. I'm a shooter. Like, I can shoot. I shoot every day. I shoot on the off days. So, I mean, anybody who plays off me, I'm shooting it. In practice, when I get a shot and I'm open, I shoot it. So, um, I was just shooting it. It wasn't a game plan. Their game plan was obviously to, you know, plug off of me. So, I was just shooting it. Everybody was happy that, you know, for me, obviously. But the biggest thing, like I keep saying, is, you know, we were in a two-game losing streak to two teams that we shouldn't have lost to, you know, that we feel like. So that was the biggest thing. Everybody was happy off of that. And it feels good, you know, a big weight lifted on my shoulder. You know, um, I hold myself to a high standard. Um, and it just felt like I lived up to it today. I uh, get this feeling they won't be playing off and just letting Lance shoot <laughs> anymore. We know what he can do on the court now. What's he like off the court? He's so articulate. Yeah, he is. He's a smart guy. Like you said, he's his own worst critic, but all he's doing is working. While he's not in practice, he's work, work, work. I'm always saying Lance in the gym, and he's a great kid, smart kid, just understands, keeps the team together, great teammate. Mm -hmm. And great to watch, that's for sure, and he is going to be critical now the rest of the way. Speaking of which, we've got two home games. Can't lose home games, that's for sure. The AutoZone Road ahead is in FedEx Forum. We'll talk about it in a minute. You're watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show. Home of sweet home. It's nice to have two games at FedEx Forum this week. We'll start on Wednesday evening, a 7 o'clock tip at the Forum. And it's against a Temple team that's coming off a win against East Carolina. Yeah, Temple, you know, new coach, Aaron McKee, he's been there for a while in the program, played at Temple, uh, has been having his ups and downs this year, but they do compete very hard for sure. And then on Saturday... It'll be a 3 o'clock tip, so you get to sleep late. Come and watch the Bulls. Tigers took care of the Bulls in Florida, but a close game, 68-64. Now, they've won two games in a row, and I mean they won them big. Yeah, well, they're, you know, they're really sneaky. Uh, they have a guard, guard tandem that's really good. They can rival anybody in the country, and if those guys get hot, then they definitely can go on a run. And you know what, Penny? There, there is a couple of pluses. If you come to these games, we've got giveaways. Wait till you come for the Temple game. This is the coolest thing. You will get a chance to get the first 5,000 will, a commemorative Tiger basketball coin. Look at what it looks like. It is classy. It's got two sides, and you get to stand the first 5,000, courtesy of Regional One Health. And then for the USF game on Saturday, it'll be the first horizon game and there's a giveaway for the first 5,000 you will get men's basketball trading cards courtesy of Chick-fil-A so we are very giving at this university <laughs> yeah we are and those are two great gifts for sure we, we're gonna give those gifts and no more turnovers right no more turn yeah no more gifts to the other team <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Have a great week. Thanks, you too. We'll see you at FedEx Forum on Wednesday. We'll see you on Saturday right back here next Monday night. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show, presented by Cook's Pest Control. The show is also supported by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone, Chick-fil-A, Eat More Chicken, your Memphis Toyota dealers, Toyota, Let's Go Places, the Tennessee Lottery, and Subway. Make it what you want. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield IMG College under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Memphis. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of Memphis and Learfield IMG College. The preceding has been a Learfield IMG College presentation of the Tiger Sports Network.